All right, so we're here in the lab of Dr. Osgar in physics, and he has generously allowed us to use his expensive equipment here. Uh, what we're going to do, we have our samples on uh, metal stubs, so they're metal cylinders with conductive black sticky tape on there. And the electronic conduction is important, or electric conduction is important for the process. So we wanna actually coat them in metal, a very thin sheet of gold we're gonna coat these with. And that's gonna allow the electrons to move across the surface and allow us to take a picture of the surface using the electron microscope. So to do that, we're gonna use this instrument, a couple big, <laughs> I'm not an expert on this, but I'll tell you what I know. Uh, the important parts of this are that this is all going to be under vacuum and uh, up at the top here is a thin sheet of gold and it's going to turn that gold, this is the part I'll get wrong, uh, under uh, inert gas it's going to create a plasma and uh, eject some particles from the gold plate at the top and they're going to settle down onto the surface of uh, what we've got here and we can dial in the thickness of that gold. And so we'll be able to uh, kind of hit the right spot. If it's too thin, the conduction won't be great. If it's too thick, it's going to fall kind of like a, a snowstorm and obscure some of the details. So um, I think we've landed on the right measurement after doing this for a few years. So putting down here on the location. And I've got them labeled on the side. The Sharpie label is actually going to still be readable after the uh, gold coating. Students always get a little gleam in their eye when they hear that we're coating things in gold. It's not a very expensive amount of gold. Pennies, pennies worth of gold. So how many nanometers are gonna go to uh, Dr. <laughs> I was avoiding saying that, but I thought it was maybe 10 or eight. Sure, yeah. Sure, why I not? I think it's set to 20, but we'll see. All right, so I'm going to do this. Dr. Osgar is behind the camera, so he can tell me whether I'm doing something wrong. Uh, this is some thick glass that's going to maintain the seal. I've never done this one before. All right, you want to tell me what to do? Mm -hmm. Bottom one and on. then the red, yep. Mm -hmm. Top one on. Oh, and I think also this oh, one yes. too. Um, I might have isolated it. I've become a pretty good video editor. I can, I can iPhoto <laughs> or iMovie and Apple. Sure. Like and so now let me actually take the front part of this room. Do you want to record or go for this one? So as you can see, the pressure started dropping. So it's pump. So what this is doing, this is a uh, pump. It's a mechanical pump and it's taking, sucking all the air from this chamber out. And the pressure gauge is telling us that the pressure is dropping inside the chamber. That's a logarithmic scale, 1.2, um, 0 0.1, 0 0.01. And the pressure is measured in millibars. So we're not gonna wait until it goes to zero because there's no like perfect vacuum. And eventually uh, we're gonna start purging argon gas inside. So argon, if you know from chemistry, is a pretty big molecule, it's inert. And argon molecules are going to be um, hitting the gold target, as Dr. Tipper said, and then from there it will shower on the samples and start coating them. So this is a pretty automated process. Um, and also, um, we will measure the thickness using this instrument uh, that tells us how much coating we are getting. So right now it says zero nanometers here, the thickness, that's the thickness measurement instrument. It's called QCM, Coarse Crystal Microbalance. Um, and let's check how much it's set for. So it's set for 20 nanometers. So when it reaches 20 nanometers, it will stop. And I think this is pretty much what you hold, right? Probably. Yeah, you have, you have never changed it. So um, everything seems okay. Um, 
I think we can press uh, the cycle. I will have Dr. Tipper on that. <laughs> okay. So now what it will do is it will wait until this pressure reaches a certain value. Um, I can't remember, it might be a little lower than what is set for. And once it reaches that value, it's going to flush the chamber with argon gas so that there is no oxygen left inside the chamber. There you go. It just started flushing, purging the uh, chamber with argon gas. You see, when, it, when the needle went this way, the pressure increased. Now it's pumping down again, so presume that there's not much argon and it's purging it again. So now what will happen is the system is gonna wait until there is a certain pressure of argon inside and then it will start applying a high voltage, around 500 volts between the uh, cathode and the gold plate and the plasma is gonna start. We have a lot we're going to edit out here. Waiting, waiting. There we go. Look at this plasma, it's beautiful. So over here the thickness is counting up. So it's going to reach the set thickness and then stop. Right. So right now gold is showering on the samples. So we reached 20, 20 nanometers, mm -hmm. and everything shut down on the plasma part. Okay. So all that's left is to turn everything off. Awesome. All right, so we've turned everything off. We can access this now. The uh, pressure has come back up to atmospheric. So we can open this, carefully take off our glass covering, and look at that, gold.